Warning, use at your own risk, use at your own discretion. I'll be back in a minute. Welcome to the Drunk Linux User. I'm Len, I'm the Drunk Linux User. And one of the cool things about being able to do this kind of thing is reading all the articles, having some fun. One of the articles I ran across recently had this, which is really, really fun. And what is this? This is being able to take your Kubuntu or your Pop! OS or your whatever you've done with Ubuntu derivatives and update to the latest Plasma desktop. That's available to the Ubuntu's, that is, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the latest Plasma. So, what is Plasma? Plasma is a desktop. It's what KDE uses for their desktop. It's kind of Windowsy like It's got the taskbar at the bottom, but you can change things around, make it customizable. Has a nice dark theme, really truly does. I'm using more of an old style breeze kind of desktop myself. But KDE also has this uh, connect thing where you can take your phone and, and kind of like connect to your computer. Somebody's having a bad day out there. And it is a good thing. So, the problem with Ubuntu, Kubuntu, well, just canonical in general when it comes to Plasma, is Plasma and uh, KDE and, and Ubuntu are not the same company. So, KDE will come out with a long-term support version, which was 5.24 recently. And that's what Ubuntu Kubuntu actually ships with. But KDE doesn't just sit there. They keep bringing out new stuff. So the new stuff is now 5.25.4. Now, I may have increased since then, but I'm not exactly sure about that. So instead of putting hoof in mouth, I'm just going to say by the time you see this, it may have increased. Now, the 5.25 release isn't all about color theme, and but it's about other improvements as well. 5.25, I went and installed the new one last night, and I've been I've been trying to break it, and I can't. I've been having a very very good experience with this. It's very smooth. Everything seems to be working just fine, and I'm very very happy with the upgrade my experience yours may be different so if you're into the coloring and the of the panels and everything then this is going to be a nice one but the uh, the most important part is that they are doing tweaks to make things better all the time it isn't just about the gui it's about the desktop environment making it a better experience overall so how do you get this wonderful great thing okay warning 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 if you're on an LTS long-term support and you don't want to risk buggering up your system you may not want to do this if you're happy with everything everything's working just fine these new features are not going to affect you in any way then wait for the next LTS to roll around but if you're like me and you just got that itch well here's how you do it <laughs> you open up a terminal and I told you before that when I upgraded mine on pop OS that I had to put in the Kubuntu PPA slash backports well there's an extra one you need to put in to get up to the latest version now this is new this wasn't available before, so this is a you put this on after you do the backport. So you do the Kubuntu PPA backports, but cat's going crazy. But now you're going to put backports hyphen extra. You should have the two. You shouldn't just have 
back ports. You need to have back ports hyphen extra to be able to get this new version in there. Then download and install the update by using sudo apt full hyphen upgrade space hyphen y. You are going to come up, you may, okay, you may run across a situation that while things are rolling through on the terminal, it may actually stop and ask you a couple questions. It asked me about the themes. Do I want to change them? Do I want to see the difference between them? I went ahead and said yes, even though the default says no. The reason I said yes is because KDE has made changes to certain cursors, and I'm not talking about people who swear a lot. I'm talking about the thing on your screen, right? Okay, so they've made some changes to the themes, uh, to, the, to the cursors and icons, and I wanted to get what they had new and everything is rolling along just wonderfully and beautifully so if you are interested i would suggest taking a look at these three pages so that you understand exactly what you're getting and if you want to do the updates upgrades go for it and if you don't hey it's cool too because the other stuff was working just fine i had no problem with it whatsoever so let's leave this on our words of wisdom don't drive drunk don't drink and drive don't let cats ruin your video don't go to amazon ebay or use ms edge shopping all buzzed up thinking you're going to buy the latest greatest and coolest stuff because you're probably not in the meantime bottoms up and later dudes